Angkor Wat, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the world's largest religious temple, the eighth wonder of the world, and with more than two million annual visitors. So how are we alone? Let's get you caught up. Since we last saw you, we jumped on a short flight from Thailand into our next new country, Cambodia, where a hotel had a driver pick us up. After checking in, great pool by the way, we hopped on our trusty scooter and prepared to battle the crowds at Angkor Wat. Well. One thing to note that if you do ride a scooter, there is literally no rules, no rules to the road. You just gotta pay attention. Be safe, be alert at all times. Yeah, the only rule is don't get into an accident. It's kind of ominous. Yeah, I'm very shocked of how few tourists are actually here. I mean, the, there's nobody here. I haven't even seen the temple yet, but wow, such a very cool setting. That tree did not grow into that wall quickly. The construction of the roof is just unbelievable. Stones stacked on top of each other and letting the weight hold itself, a typical arch style, but it's just amazing to see from the inside. I cannot believe how fortunate that we are to be here with such an incredibly small amount of people. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? This is so cool. So this is the backside of that same tree that we were just showing you. What an amazing thing. I mean, literally 15 minute drive out of Siem Reap. Now we're out at the temple. There are monks out front and this is just unbelievable. It feels so wrong even being able to walk around in here. Quick bit of information. If you see water, anything like that around the base of the Buddha statue, it's not garbage. It's actually offerings to the gods. Important information to know. I mean, you can still see like the smallest little markings inside of it. carvings and the detail that is still in these pieces is just unbelievable. You can see the heads in the statues and the beautiful top half of a lady. Look at the stones that are the top layer of the walking area. There's always little holes in it. I wonder if that was for transporting it. Time to head back to the scooter and go on to the next one.
This is actually the Angkor Wat temple, but the complex itself is 400 acres. And when they discovered it, it was overgrown by forest. It took them years and years to discover the temples that they've discovered now, and there's over 400 temples in the Angkor Wat complex. The steps are very steep, so go up the stairs sideways. Give yourself a better footprint. I'm not 100% sure, but this appears that it was some kind of a bath or like a pool bathing area. So we did just overhear a tour guide and he did confirm that these were swimming pools. Swimming pools. We are able to climb up to the top of the temple. They created a new set of stairs on top of the original to make it a little bit easier for people to be able to climb up. Angkor Wat was built in the 11th century and originally built for the god Vishnu of the Hindu religion. Uh, throughout the 12th century, it became an important Buddhist site and is now today thought of as a Hindu Buddhist temple. It is considered the largest religious site on earth. She's cheating. She's reading information. <laughs> she's smart, but she's not Google. Uh, there are four statues of the Buddha that are placed in the north, the south, the east, and the west. This is a site for a Buddhist pilgrimage. I just grossly underestimated the amount of time it would take to even explore something like this. I'd read there were so many tourists. There really isn't. It, if you guys see, there's a person here, a person there, but there's no big hordes of tourists. It's a very perfect time to come to Angkor Wat. I never imagined in my life that I would actually get the opportunity to be here, so it's a very surreal moment. All of this is surreal. I mean, it is. All of it is. Twenty-four hours later. Don't make fun of my hair. My hair's a mess. I have no makeup on, and my eyes are swollen. I don't know why she said that. Let's go. I've wanted to do this forever, so okay, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, they're attacking you. It feels very weird. It feels like fish are kissing my feet. <laughs> All right, so I'm not too sure how Tabby kind of wrote me into this, but let's have some fun. So oh, time to dip in my feet. <laughs> my feet are so ticklish, <laughs> and this is, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able to relax enough to actually sit here for an hour. I put my feet like all the way at the bottom because the bottom of my feet are very ticklish and maybe after time I'll get used to it a little bit, so we'll see. It is the craziest sensation having 50 little fingers pinching you all at once, all over your feet. <laughs> okay, okay, every now and then they get you just a little bit. It's one of those experiences you wanna have, and I don't know, it was one of the things I wanted to do while we we're here. Just super excited, I think it's really neat. Tabby's now on her third beer, just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying her fish. Don't record me. <laughs> so, so it's gonna be quite interesting how the rest of the day goes. I'm happy. So the cost to do this is $3. It includes a beer or soda, whatever you prefer and the time is unlimited. Bad news. I thought it would be great to take my cell phone, dip it under the water just a little bit, get some shots of the fish. Well, guess what? It got water in it. 
powered off. I think my phone is ruined. I hope not. I'm gonna let it dry out. Hopefully it works. If not, I guess I'm going phone shopping in Vietnam. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.